when I just look at their goaltending as a whole, like I would not be surprised one bit, Laporte, if we get to playoff time and Campbell and Anderson are both healthy. And if Campbell's playing better, I would not be surprised one bit if they just roll with Campbell in the playoffs. And that might yeah. be a hot take. You could say I'm crazy, but the way that Anderson's been trending, not only recently, but you know, even over the last couple of seasons, it, it's concerning. So I, what's your take on the goaltending situation right now, Lapore, and the play of Freddie Anderson? The thing with Freddie, it's like you say, okay, save percentages is 900. It's not that you watch him. Like I can't really think of many goals this year where I kind of got out of my chair and yelled like, what the fuck, Freddie? Like, how'd you not save that? It's just that, that cliche thing of just make a save. And that's why he's at 900. And I think that's why a lot of Leafs fans are frustrated. And especially again, when you're watching the goalie across the way, stand on his frigging head and make 40 saves against us and we lose. But it's, it's that it's just that thing of like Freddie, like make a save. And he's costing himself money, like, as we're moving forward. Like you said, the numbers have been trending down every single year. So, I mean, he's got to snap out of it, even for himself. But it's not good. And as for Campbell, I mean, there's a lot of unknowns there. Like, ideally, we don't we want Freddie to be at his best come playoff time. Yeah, and, he, cool. and he's the guy in. We don't want to be putting our hopes on a backup goalie who, like you said, gets hurt all the time. But... As for Freddie goes, like, we've seen enough now, you know? So, like, I'm at that point. Like, I was kind of brushed it aside in the way that, you know, I guess I was using, like, confirmation bias for what he had done previously. But it seems like I have a good enough sample size of data that shows that he's just average or even, like, average at best. And that's not going to cut it. It's kind of like what we said before in the way that, and funny how I just said how he's like average, but the whole take we had as the season started was we hear our D to be fine. And it's been better than fine. And now we have the situation with our goaltending where the mindset is just don't lose it for us and, you know, make that occasional save. And I think that's too much to ask from a starting goalie making $5 million a year. Yeah, just make the save yeah, in those like, big moments when the team needs it and the game is, you know, maybe on the verge of slipping away. Just give us one big save. One. That's all and, we're and that, asking for. And the Leafs, the Leafs are at a point as a team where, I mean, it's maybe like the conference finals or the Stanley Cup finals where like, yeah, goalie's going to have to steal a game or two. But – there aren't going to be too many of those games throughout the course of a regular season where we're going to say, okay, yeah, maybe Freddie stole that one. Or we're going to need Freddie to steal that one. So am I worried? Like, like that's a strong word, but you don't, it doesn't take much <laughs> like in, in the playoffs. All it takes is one bad game or one bad goal for that matter. And I'm pissed off and our goalie blew it for us, but you really think there's a chance like we get to a point and Campbell could be the start, starting goalie? I mean, at the end of the day, I guess we, Freddie's done after this. We don't owe anything to him. So, And now's not the time to be nice or to show I, respect I to the goalie. Bit, man. I don't doubt it for one bit. He's in the final year of his contract. And like you said, he's not going to make a lot of money in free agency if he continues to play like this. Yeah. And I would be absolutely stunned if the Leafs bring him back because oh, that, that we're done. No, no, no. That's, because that, to number me, that's one, craziness. they're just not going to be able to afford him. You know, yeah. even if he, even if he is losing money with the way that he's playing, he's still going to get, you know, sort of a sizable contract, right? There's going to be what there's, there's always one stupid team. Is, um, exactly. pe pe people always break it down. Like, Oh, he doesn't deserve it. I'm like, it only takes one, like yeah. one dumb team to do it. And he's going to get it. And that's the thing, right? We don't owe him anything anymore. We've seen everything when it comes to Freddie Anderson. We've seen his, him at his absolute best, and we've seen him at his absolute worst. And right now, I mean, you ask any Leaf fan, they do not have a lot of confidence in this guy. Yeah. And you can look at the stats. You can watch the games and just see the lack of big saves in those big moments like we just alluded to. And I think come playoff time, it's going to be a situation Whichever goalie is playing the best is going to play. And yes, will they give Freddie Anderson the benefit of the doubt and give him more of an opportunity? Of course, because he's the starting goalie. And, you know, they've gone through the last four plus years with the guy. But it's gone to the point now where there's no more fucking around. Yeah. There's no more, 
oh, it's, it's all right. We're going to get them next year. Or it's okay. We'll just get them in the next game. No, this team is built to win a Stanley Cup right now. It's and and the whole thing, the that. whole thing with the division thing. And like I alluded to how I expect them to go nuts at the deadline. It's like, it's a different type of year. And let's face it. There's no Boston. There's no Tampa in our division. And like how we said, if this team does not make the semifinals, it's on them. It's because they didn't play their best. So there's no dancing around what the thing is to do. No, no, no. We're being very direct here. We're not fucking around for lack of better terminology. So if there's any year where they're not going to, they're, they're going to disrespect someone to do what's better for the team. It's going to be this year. Yeah. This isn't an up and coming team that is, you know, working to become a great team and one day, you know, become a contender. No, wake up everybody. This team is a contender right now. There's no more. We're, you know, we're that cute up and coming team. And like I said, we're just going to get them next year. Don't worry. Pat on the back, everybody job. Well done. There's no more of that shit. And that's why I think tough decisions are going to have to be made. And I have full confidence that Sheldon Keefe is ready to make those tough decisions alongside Kyle Dubas. So Lepore, it's it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this all transpires as we get closer and closer to playoff time.